Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Find a place to sit upright, if that works for you. Or maybe you would like to recline onto your back. Maybe you'd like to do static back. Take a moment and find the position that makes the most sense for you to settle in and begin to quiet the mind. <laughs> that can be very challenging to do some days. If you're finding that in this moment, it's one of those challenging moments, okay, accept that. If this is one of those times when this is easy for you, no challenges, you're, you're ready, you can snap right to it if you will, accept that as well. Be in the moment you're in. When we get to the two minute mark, I will officially begin our 20 minute meditation, a guide, a guided meditation. I have offered this meditation before. It's one of my favorite meditations. It speaks to dealing with a physical or mental or emotional issue that could be from your past or your present and you need a break from it. You just need some time away from it. Let's take that time away from that. We'll call it a problem. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Pay attention to the length of that breath and subsequent breaths. Allow the body to breathe in this present tempo. Going with this natural breath pace. When you're ready, count as you would count seconds how long it takes you to draw in breath, to inhale, and then count how many seconds it takes you to exhale. Observe the number. Gradually, as you continue to breathe and count the seconds, see if you can draw the inhalation out a little longer, or can you draw out the exhalation, whichever feels more comfortable to you. Continue to breathe in and out, counting and begin to lengthen one end of the breath cycle.
remain in a comfortable, panic-free state of breathing. Try not to induce an intense belly breath as much as to just lengthen the breath. Ideally at both ends when the time is right, you could practice if you have been lengthening exhalation. Can you now lengthen inhalation? Pay attention to that end of the cycle. A little bit more if you will. Eventually coming to a comfortable breathing tempo which if we can make it happen in this practice today would be even inhalation and about even exhalation. Remember, we're not trying to force anything. A calm, elongated breath, whether it's even or not, is perfect. As you continue to practice the breath, perhaps you cease from counting, but you're still aware of the lengthening and you can begin to feel your presence on your chair or on your mat. Feel yourself in the position you are in at this moment allow the parts of the body that are making connections to the floor or the chair to ground in, to sink in, become comfortably engaged in this quiet stillness. If you're lying down, you can feel the back of your head against the surface. If you're sitting against a chair or lying down, you can feel your upper back connect to a surface. Perhaps there's a small space in that lower curve of our spine, just above our tailbone. And then we again connect the backside of our bodies to the chair or the floor or the mat. Limbs might be bent at the elbows or at the knees or extended. If you feel the need to make some physical adjustments as you breathe deeply, make the adjustments so you can settle in further. Relaxing deeper, eyes closed. Allow the weight of the eyes to sink back into the sockets. And I want you to now visualize what it is that you would define as your problem in this moment today. The issue could be physical, as I mentioned, or it could be mental, it could be emotional. It is anything that you believe you need a break from. This isn't about avoiding, it is about creating space so that you can eventually see through and solve your problem in as much as you are able to. Whatever the problem may be and however big you may feel it or small you may feel it to be, it is yours and only yours. And honor that, I honor that in you and for you in this practice. In your mind's eye, 
as you breathe deep, take a hold of this problem in your hand like you would hold on to an orb, a globe, a circular object. Other than being a circular object, detail in your mind's eye what it appears to, how it feels. Is it heavy in your hands? Is it such that you need to separate your hands to hold it? Can you keep the hands close together? Does it feel cold? Does it evoke feelings inside you, in the body, the mind, the spirit, when you consider what it looks like in your hands? If you're needing or wanting or influenced by words, accept that idea, accept that concept. And if some words can come through you peacefully, accept them. If you're able to concentrate more on the feeling and really what the problem in your hand looks like. It is a representation of your issue. Breathe into it. Accept all the feelings and emotions and worries it might give you. And now, as you are breathing in and out, evenly as possible, I want you to begin to take the orb, the circular object, whether it is great or small, and make it smaller. Inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze it in just a little bit. Inhale again when your body says it's time. And as you exhale, squeeze a little more. I want you to continue to breathe in and out making the orb, the problem smaller and smaller. I want you to breathe in and out at your pace until the orb fits in between your palms comfortably. And if you're already moving your hands, beautiful. And if you're not, that's okay. And you may choose not to. If you do choose to move your hands or just imagine moving your hands, you're rotating your hands over this orb, the left coming over the right, and then the right coming over the left. Gently moving the orb in the palms of your hands. Breathing in and out. Accepting what you can and cannot do at this moment about your problem. preparing to send it on its way.
Breathing in and out. In the mind's eye alone or with hand motions if it feels right to you. I want you to begin to dissolve the orb now. Create the image, be very detailed in the mind's eye with the breath as to how this feels and what it looks like. The disappearing of this problem, this object, this orb, can look a million different ways. When the time is right with physical hands or mind's eye, open the hands to reveal the empty hands now. The problem has left you. Perhaps you can see its tail in the wind or it's completely out of your sight. Place hands physically or with mind's eye. Any place on the body proper that feels it needs contact. That could be from root to crown. Perhaps two hands are over one location or one hand each is over a different location. Inhale and exhale. Notice if there's any change in your breath rate or your heart rate. in mind's eye or with physical hands, bring a light touch to the higher heart region. For our purposes, that is just below the neck and above the heart proper. You could do some light tapping with your fingers, some gentle massage, simply place the hands there physically or visualizing it with the mind's eye. Breathing in and out into this heart space. Feeling the levity, the weightlessness, the freedom you have right now from this moment on, from your problem.
this time, if you would like to continue to stay in this current state, pause the video, stay there as long as you'd like. When you're ready, hit play, And let's very slowly begin to move the eyes while closed within their sockets. Maybe look to the left and the right, up and down. Take an intentional deep chest breath that causes you to physically move from the position you've been in and gently exhale, allowing body to fall where it will. If it's comfortable, turn the head to the right and the left. Lick the lips or begin to move the mouth. the time is right to open the eyes. You might even want to place your hands over the eyes and then open them. And then slowly peel the fingers apart if the light is going to produce some shock. If you were lying down, you may want to roll to the side for a moment. Take your time as you come to a seated upright position and if you've been in a chair <clears throat> adjust yourself to a more alert posture <sighs> thank yourself for taking this time this is a valuable valuable practice and i thank you for spending time with me Make it a beautiful, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.